every year um, it's compulsory for a grade 9 student to go on an expedition and so I chose the DAC. The trip is, is one where the kids get an opportunity to uh, uh, step outside their comfort zone. They get an opportunity to test their physicality, test their, their physical strength, their mental strength. Um, they get to mix with students they wouldn't necessarily mix with um, in school. Um, uh, they have an opportunity to spend time with a family in Ladakh and Leh, and that is quite a that can be quite a stressful situation. I mean, some of the students will be stressed and concerned about. Um, managing to finish the trek physically, others are fine with that. Their concern is you know, having to spend two nights, three days with a family and communicating to them in a language that they can't speak. Molly, she said things like, um, I've had the most challenging experience of my life, I've had the most interesting experience of my life, that I've been the most scared I've ever been, that I've um, felt the worst I've ever felt. So there were lots of extremes. The whole change in culture, especially with the homestay, and just going through a daily routine of someone else, it, um, it kind of it opens your eyes to more cultures and more um, people in the world and how they live their lives. Many of times during the, the reflection time, many of them bring up one common point. They say that they're really surprised that they actually have the determination to finish the trip. None of them would imagine at the start of the expedition, they, they see themselves at a high peak at 5,000 meters. None of them will think that, oh my God, they can survive two and a half weeks without proper hot shower, without uh, the parents comforting them. And, but yet, when they look back at it, they say, wow, they, they achieve it. She's got the knowledge that she has managed to um, tackle things with support, but tackle things that are very difficult. If you put anybody in a situation where they are challenged, they learn a lot more about themselves and they learn not only about themselves, but they learn about their friends. I mean, if they're there with their friends and people they don't necessarily know, they learn a lot about those people. And that is a valuable education. And just learning about yourself and learning that you can overcome challenges and sometimes you need those around you to help you, that, that in itself helps later on in life, I think. To push people outside their comfort zones, UWC is all about um, experiencing the world and um, living your life to the fullest and experiencing different things and I think it really goes hand in hand with that.